Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing this kind of New Year's Eve pop of mauve and silver color to bring in the new year. Just wanted to try something a little out there and a little fun. So if you want to see how I get this look, stay tuned. Now as far as using the, the Pure Cosmetics, I did get this palette in the last BoxyCharm subscription. I'm thinking December. I'm thinking December. Um, this was the buff collection and in the buff collection it was loads of pinks. So if you are a pink or mauve -y kind of person, you're going to love this palette. This palette went on really nice. Um, all the colors blended well. The, um, the Mirage I used here looked a little bit more mauve when I stuck it, put it on, stuck it on, stuck it on. Um, it actually looked a little bit, a lot darker, a lot bit darker than it was in the pan. Everything that I used, um, like I said, blended really well. So if you are a pink mauve person, you're going to love this palette. Um, then I wanted to play with some Pat McGrath, and this is from the Pat McGrath Labs. It's a silver pigment. So you mix a bit of this pigment with their mixing liquid and you get a really high payoff on some shine as you can see so i enjoyed using this now mind you these are about sixty dollars a piece um was i overly wowed mm, probably not um would i buy these again for sixty dollars mm, not going to but as far as trying them and um, seeing what they do, they, they really do have a lot of sparkle and that was fun. But um, $60 is a bit pricey unless you're going to wear sparkle every day in your life. That's a lot bit pricey. But um, I also got it in a copper and I thought I had that right in front of me. The copper I used and I actually did a video, kind of messed up the video with my camera so trying to figure out if I'm going to redo that copper one or not but in the interim you can see this video with the silver so stay tuned and we'll see how we pull together this bright and silvery look for New Year's we're going to start with the buff collection from Pure Cosmetics this was in last month or November's December's um, BoxyCharm we're going to start with quartz all over the lid Next, we're going to use Dune and the crease up into the transition. We're going to use a little bit of the clay and go darken up the crease. We're going to take some Pat McGrath some, and loosen up some of these pigments. I'm going to add a little bit of the mixing liquid. Put a little bit of the mixing liquid here. I'm going to mix that with some of the pigments. Now we're going to go in with some Mirage. I'm 
which looks nothing like it does in the pan on the eye. <laughs> Who knew? Okay, that Mirage was highly pigmented. Wasn't expecting that. Not that the other colors weren't, they just, well, I guess the other colors weren't. Um, so we're going to go back in with the Dune, which was the first color we started with. And we're going to kind of blend that. Not kind of blend it, we're going to blend it. I'm glad I used my tape just in case it was pigmented. You never know when you're trying a new palette. We are going to use the Dune again for the full under the lower lash line. On an angle brush, we're going to pick up some of that Mirage. I'm going to use some Makeup Geek Full Spectrum. This one's a black. Okay, we're going to use the Sephora Waterproof Colorful Wink It Eyeliner. I'm going to dust some more of this quartz on underneath the brow bone. And I'm going to dab that on the inner corner. Once my eyeliner has dried, which is usually pretty quick, um, I'm going to go back in with the angle brush and the Mirage. And I'm going to go right over the top of that eyeliner. And I'm sorry I'm sick. I keep sniffling, sneezing. I feel like the sniffling, sneezing, icky head fever. I need the rest medicine. It has not been fun. And as you can see, that just kind of softens the line a little bit. Okay, now that we have that softened, we are going to curl our eyelashes. And you know, I had bought a, just a regular eyelash curler um, at the drugstore. And then this one was on sale during Black Friday from Tarte. And I am so glad I got this little guy. Um, not only because it's cute with all the little sparkles, but it actually curls better. Um, love this thing. Which I had gotten so much crud during the Black Friday Cyber Monday. I was going to do a video on it, and then I was kind of embarrassed. Um, with all the stuff I bought just because of the price. I didn't need any of it. I didn't need all that. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. So needless to say, I did not do a haul video. I'm going to 
knock off some of these extra sparkles that fell down. We're going to use the Lash Sensational Waterproof for underneath the eye. Okay, so I'm going to use the um, Lash Sensational Regular for the top eyelashes. I literally have boxes everywhere. Um, between my subscriptions and my overpurchase during the cyber or whatever. Holy crud. I can't find anything. I'm in need of a fr and friend invention. I need a friend to come over and tell me to quit it. I don't understand how I can lose contour. A whole palette of contour. How is that possible? Oh, contour! Okay, well, I can't find my Makeup Geek contour. So we're going to go in with the Manicadar Beauty. This was in one of my beauty subscriptions. may be missing my contour, but I'm not missing my Makeup Geek blushes. Alright, so since we did a lot of mauve, I'm going to kind of stay with the mauve -y. And this one's called Love Letter. Right here. Alright, we're going to use this color here from Clean Color. Um, it's from, it's a dollar off AliExpress, so we're going to use that for a pop of color. Okay, so I'm going to finish my, I'm not going to do a whole lot with my hair today, but I'm going to finish up um, at least doing something with this flat hair, and I will be right back. Thank you so much for watching my channel today as I created this look using the Buff Collection from Pure Cosmetics, along with the Pat McGrath, um, ooh, the Pat McGrath Labs Silver Pigment. I totally enjoyed putting this look together for a nice mauve pop of color, maybe for the new year. Who knows? So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, make it a beautiful day.